Oh, hey, look at that. I don't know what it is. This is Cisco. No relation to the white rap. Is he white? Cisco? I don't even know what you're talking about. You don't know that thong song? Remember? <laughs> no. Wow. Anyways, Cisco. Orange pineapple. This was 99 cents at Grocery Depot. No, Outlet. It's never going to be at Grocery Depot. And there goes my watch again. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. 13.9% alcohol. This is not beer. This, or orange soda. This is wine. So I don't know what to expect. It also has, so it contains sulfites. Whatever that means. So. Do you want me to? Or, there you go. Okay. Sure. Aren't they usually the camera man? Boots here. Ugh. You can do it. Put your back into it. I have a bad back. <laughs> there we go. I loosened it up for you. Mm. Let it breathe before you pour it. It's wine. You have to let it breathe first. Are you sure about that? Yes. I am a gentleman. Has it breathed long enough yet? <laughs> no. <laughs> Why don't we talk more about it while we're letting it breathe? Uh, it's orange, and <laughs> it's pineapple, and it's 99 cents. Okay, should be good now. Look at that color. It certainly looks like orange soda. It kind of smells like rum. Really? Yeah. As crazy as that sounds. Hmm. Does it taste like rum? That's really interesting, but not bad. <laughs> hmm. Lots of weird flavors, and it matches my pants. <laughs> oh. Oh, yes, dirty pants. Um, man, that is weird. And a great deal, too. That has a little bit of a burn. Wine shouldn't have a burn. <laughs> well, it's also 99 cents. Okay, so... That does. That actually smells smells more like a uh, schnapps. No, to me it smells more like uh, a whiskey. Or uh, no, Bacardi One Fifty One. Hmm. Never had it. it. Smells a lot like Bacardi One Fifty One. Huh. Isn't that weird? That has a weird taste. It's like it has a lot going on at once. It just kind of hits you. It's like it's like. Open the floodgates! Random flavors! Yeah, there's a lot of flavor in this, I have to say. Very very much flavors. It, it does have a little bit of an after, aftertaste, after, like, uh, the, the after mouth feel. It has the like, after wine taste, you know, like... I, I thought it was a little bit like rum does, a little bit, just a slight bit. Mm. So, yeah, I think it's for for a dollar. It's it surprised me quite a bit. It's it's not. I don't know. I can't say it's flawless, but it's, I can't say anything really bad about it. It's a dollar. It's ninety nine cents. Like you don't have to pay for deposit. I mean, that's it's the cheapest thing I've ever came across. It's alcoholic. <laughs> I mean, yeah, the, the, the little bottles at Walmart were a dollar and a quarter. You can buy like little bottles of whiskey and tequila for like a dollar twenty-five at the liquor store. That's forty percent, right? Yeah. But can you get one that big for nine cents? No. Or maybe <laughs> if they had one that size, it'd probably be like. They were 12, as, they were as right? big as those uh, wine bottles we got at Walmart. 
Yeah, but if you got something that size, no. uh, if they're if it was that size and they had it there, it'd probably be like four bucks. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, but at the same time, this stuff is way smoother. Yeah, that's than true. Anything else? If you got a weak stomach, go for the wine. <laughs> so it's a happy medium. I'm su quite surprised, and it's not even that quite that cold. Like it's chilled, but it's not even really cold. Um, like if I could put a temperature on it, it's probably like. Probably 40, 45. Like, it's not even that cold. But, yeah. I'd rate it 8.5. You find this shit, you definitely drink it, and then uh, enjoy it. It's definitely something that's worth buying. Now, something I'm going to review next could be either the greatest thing since a bottle cap or the worst thing since a nail up your foot. So, we'll find that out next on this shitty beer show. <laughs>